programming parts in FeatureCam 2016 R3 has been made safer and easier thanks to the use of machine limits to automatically decide how to rotate the machine for both indexing and 3 plus 2 machining. The rotational machine limits can be specified either at the part document level and moreover will utilize the limits set in the machine design file itself. In this example we've got a large component that we want to machine a series of holes around the outside. Note I've defined the hole positions based on the coordinate system at 0, 30, 60, 90, 120, etc. But I've also defined the position based on the machine. So we have plus 90, plus 120, plus 150, etc. Now currently, for the machine simulation, I've turned off my machine limits. So what I want to do is go ahead and just machine this in the way that we would have tackled this in previous versions of FeatureCam. So here we can see my head head machine. As I single step through each of the positions, we can see the head indexing around till we get to this location. And we can see that we could be pretty happy with the result of the machining process. Likewise, if I was to go to the results area and just look at the NC code, we can see my whole positions, so C90, 120, 150, 180 and as we move further around you can see we get to C210, 240. However if we go and look at our whole positions here we can see these are set to minus positions. So clearly our NC code output is going to be incorrect for this particular machine type. If we verify this just by going to the simulation and turning on our limits and again doing a machine simulation As I step through and I get to this position, we can see we've exceeded the limits of this particular machine. If we wanted to verify that, we could look at the machine design file itself. Go ahead and jog the machine. In this case, I'm going to set an A axis to be 90 degrees and then move the C axis around. So our first hole is at this position. We get to our second and third holes. We hit our fourth hole and that hits the machine limits. So what we need to do is we need to rotate the machine back around so we can reach the other holes. So in the past this would have been quite difficult to do. However, we now have the capability within the software. So if I go to my stock indexing tab, and we have a new button that says index axis limits. I can select that and I have two choices now. I've got a new choice to specify the limits and I can manually put some values in. Or I can actually use the machine design limits and that's what I'm going to use in this particular case. So now I choose OK and accept. Again reset my view. Machine comes into position. So we spot drill those holes. So we get to this position and then what happens is we retract out and then we rotate the head and then start working around the additional holes. So again, we can see this with the drilling operation. So we do the 180 position. As we retract back, index the head around, and then continue to machine the rest of the component. We can re-verify this by checking the NC code. So we can see we have a C90, 120, 150, and 180. But now when we get to the one past the 180, we can see we move to our minus 150, minus 120, and so on. This makes programming machines with index limits much easier.